Alright, so here we are. We've got our server up and going with Minecraft and Bucket. And here it is, all nice and running. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it for now. Just typing in stop, hitting enter, and it says that everything's all saved and that it's all closed out. Alright, so let's start in with a fairly popular plugin. It's Iconomy. It's a main backbone for shops and that sort of thing. Handles money. So let's go ahead and download the zip file here. So we grab that, iconomy.zip, and then we're going to take that and we're going to put it just not the whole zip file, but just the .jar file that's here inside. We're going to put that in the plugins folder of our server. So just plop it over there. All right, so here's our first plugin. Now, let's go ahead and start the server up just to see what it does. So we run it and Iconomy default setup file not written. Okay, so it made our config and template files, and then it defaults to the H2 database type. And H2 is pretty cool. I'm a little partial to MySQL just because there's other plugins that like to use it also. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one. But I'm going to stop the server now by typing in stop, hitting enter. And here in the plugins folder, we can see that it's made itself its own folder called Iconomy. And here's the files that it made. So here's the minecraft.h2 database and I'm not going to be using h2 so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And here in the config file I'm going to open it with notepad++. You can also open it with just plain old notepad. I just like the way it looks better in notepad++. It's a free program. You can go ahead and download that if you like. So here we are. Here's our config file. Lots of interesting info in here and all this green stuff up here is all the comments and then here you can change the name of your currency set the default amount that people will start out with fees for registering accounts all kinds of fun stuff and for each plugin when you look at their page here on the bucket forums they will have info on usually what all that is so you can read up on it there for each individual plugin but back to here we need to change out the database from H2SQL to MySQL. I'm going to go ahead and leave the name of the database as Minecraft. It's a nice default one. And here I will be making this password shortly for ABC123. So great. Now we can go ahead and save that. And when we go back here and try to start our server again, this time, it's going to realize that it needs the dependency of the MySQL connector java bin dot jar. So it fortunately just goes out and downloads that, because I was trying to figure out where I was going to get it from, and it just got it automatically. So how handy is that? So we go ahead and say stop now. And uh, you'll note that it's, it has an error about it can't connect to any MySQL databases, and that's because we haven't installed it yet. So let's go ahead and do that next. Now there's several MySQL databases out there. I'm just going to use WAMPs. So I just did a Google search for WAMPs. It's the first hit here. It's wampserver.com slash en. And from here, I'm going to go to Downloads. And this is going to be a nice packaged way to get this for Windows 7 and get it all set up. I'm using 64-bit, so I'm going to go ahead and use the 64-bit one. You could also do 32-bit if that's what you've got. And we're just going to download this and install it like you normally install stuff. Alright, so I've got WAMPs installed, and that's this little green icon here by the clock in the lower right. Now we're going to have to configure it a bit. So first, we have to put it online, so I just left-click on it, put online. And if it changes from orange to green, then we're good to go, and we're online. So here, I'm going to click on it, and go up to this PHP my admin and now we're gonna set up the password for root so we're gonna go into privileges tab and there's two root here so we're gonna change both of them change the password to the same thing for both ones. So I'm just setting it as ABC123. Three. 
and go. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for both of these. So remember this will be whatever password you want, but set them both to be the same, just to make things easier. Alright, so there we go. So now when we go back to privileges, yeah, saying that what's this with MySQL? We don't have any MySQL set up yet. So alright, we go back to the WAM server down here, and for close see what all we've got here and and the your alias is going to SQL buddy and here it's going to ask us for our password so it's ABC one two three for me here and we're going to create a new database name it Minecraft since that was what most plugins default to you can change this to something else just remember to change it in all of the uh, configuration files for all of your plugins and hit submit. So there we go. Now that we've got our database, let's try starting up our server again and see what happens. Here we go. Double click on run.bat and note that it says that it's created a new table, Iconomy, and that the table created and so it was able to hook in and now we've got a table in our brand new database. And that's what Iconomy needs to function. So there we go, we've got Iconomy all installed. I'm going to go ahead and stop the server, tap in stop, hitting enter, and notice that the Iconomy plugin disabled is added in there, that's part of the stop routine now. So going back into plugins and Iconomy, let's take a little closer look at the config.yml. So this is as of 5.0.1 Iconomy version. So this might change a little bit by the time you're looking at it. And all these things with the pound signs here, those give you a little explanation about what these options are, their comments. So fortunately this is a very well commented config file, so it's uh, fairly easy to figure out just what's going on. So the major is dollar, and then the plural of dollar is dollars, and minor is coin, and plural of that is coins. So you could change this to, if you wanted to do some other thing like we could have pounds and pence or whatever it is that you want to do or you can just leave it as it is it's fine and here the account holdings shows that everybody gets 30 of the major units and none of the minor units after the decimal point for just whenever they sign on as a new player here and the default bank name the currency you can set up a fee to create a bank account and can set up what account starts out with. You can set up the formatting, just the way that things display as the options show over here, whether it would be $1.23 or $1.23 coins or whatever. So you can also set up some logging to log transactions just inside Iconomy and that logs it to SQL but mostly you'll be doing things with other plugins that will utilize the API so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that false now banking by default is false so if you wanna set up a bank so that way your players can deposit money and earn interest on it you're gonna to have to set this to true and you can set true or false to whether or not they can have multiple bank accounts so perhaps they could have one for their shop and one for them it, that might be a little trickier to configure though and for interest, it's defaulted to false. So you'll have to turn that to true if you want that to be. And here, do you want to only give interest to people who are online? By default, that's true. But if you set it to false, then they can earn interest even while they're not around. And the announce, that would just pop up a little notice about, hey, you have more interest now. And depending on what your interval here is in seconds, that can get really obnoxious after a while if every minute you get a little notice saying, hey, you just got some more money. So you can change this, just keep in mind that it'll be in seconds, so 
you're going to have to do a little bit of math if you only want to give them, say, interest money once a day, and you're going to give it to everybody, whether or not they're online or something like that. And for the cutoff, like all these have nice little explanations of just what they are. So if you don't want somebody to somehow just have a billion dollars, then you can set the cutoff for how much interest they can get. If the players or if their bank accounts are the ones getting this, like their pocket money or their bank accounts, you're going to, have to change this to players or banks. The percent of holdings to give, or if you wanted to just be mean about it, you could make interest a negative number and slowly take away all their money. You can set a minimum and a maximum range so that way there's a little bit of variation in what the interest rate is and then back here we're down to our database options so once we get those configured don't really want to mess with those anymore so that's MySQL lots of other plugins will tie into this one and it's just a handy one to have so this concludes this tutorial and next up we'll try permissions <laughs>